Uh, is this the end of the Little Kyoto volcano? Uh, let's just study the seismogram. Seismogram shows that the eruption is yet continuing strong. Slight downward trend. Maybe it's just the beginning of a bigger process or just a you know, passing uh, trend that may be reversed. This chart shows a lot of uh, tremors due to the bubbling of the magma which is present. And that's the reason we have these uh, bubbles coming at the surface, erupting the way that we see. These are big bubbles bursting. Inside the earth also they create this kind of, uh, you know, uh, tremors that we pick up by the seismograph. The early morning, this was the sign. At the moment, you see a lot of smoke. These smokes are called fumaroles. They are the top of the magma chamber, the lightest part of it. They come first at the surface. And when you see these things, uh, a lot of sulfur is contained in these uh, fumaroles. They give that white, yellow color gradually added to the uh, uh, to the surrounding environment. They, they stain it practically. Then the magma chamber evolves as the temperature falls different crystals. We have already seen the pleasure glaze crystals. That means that the magma is a little bit cooler than what it was in the mantle. It is a magma chamber inside. The magma waits there, churns and evolves and then erupts. I have a video about when the Meridale and the Fagor Desvial were kind of finished. Compare it with this one. I'm not saying the volcano is finished. This is not the end. But we have significant reduction in the activity. The harmonic tremors are almost flat now. We may rise again, we don't know. But at the moment, this is what we see. That means the magma is present, but it's not being added to it anything. And that's earthquake chart shows the same. So we see the uh, volatile part of the magma, which is this is smokes that you see, gases, are uh, being released. But we don't see, at least from this angle, any uh, lava jumping out or sprouting out. We may be in the phase that will go for a rest and erupt again. Fagradesville volcano is getting cold. We used to see a lot of uh, fumaroles, heat emanating from the volcano, from different parts of it. And this is all now what we can see. Single dot, just to the left of the center slightly. And uh, that's all. I hope I'm wrong, but this volcano, it doesn't seem it's going to erupt, at least in the near future. Volcano is getting cold. That's bad for a volcano. Why figure this volcano cannot or will not erupt? Uh, it's a while that uh, uh, the tremors have remained more or less constant. I draw a line to show that this is the average that it has uh, for the tremors. It means the depth is five so kilometers. That's the thickness of the crust there. So practically nothing comes to the crust. What we have is a, a downward movement in the in the Gelderlinga Valley. And this downward movement has uh, created this uh, fissure eruptions that we have here. These are the extension of the mid-oceanic ridge. As they move um, the magma can rise, relieves the pressure on the magma, on the mantle, and the magma rises, get heated up, and then erupts. Uh, what we have now in the north of this area, when the extension is uh, 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 happening yet, in the south, we had this extension already happened. In the north, we, have, we don't have that extension. It has to move, <clears throat> otherwise the land cannot actually accommodate this movement which happened in the Fagradesville. So the north side has to move also. That's the reason we have this uh, earthquakes, storm observe. It's like a zipper practically. The south part has open, north part has to open up to accommodate this uh, movement that we have here. This is the view toward the Kilia volcano. We have a lot of tremors in that direction. Kilia, of course, itself is just a hill. Uh, the south in the plain part of it, which is a valley and the fissure opens there when the blocks of rock which are dropping down as the movement toward the west of the valley happens, these blocks of rocks. In front you can see this is the Gelderdelinger uh, eruption, the fault line causing this eruption. To the north of it we have this 
and the yellow line shows the movement that it has accommodated already over the past several thousand years. Now we have more movement in this direction, cause the eruption practically, these movements. It has to move on the north side to accommodate this motion. And this is going to do it now because this, uh, this uh, earthquake shows that this movement is happening. Whether this will lead to eruption now or 20 years from now, we have to wait and see. But this motion continues. The mid-Atlantic reach is opening up like anywhere else in the world, like in the Indian Ocean or Arctic.